gotten food here. Um, the other thing to you know take note of is this word here, flavored. And so when they put the word flavored in there, it means that this food is doesn't have necessarily um, a huge chunk of the roasted venison and smoked salmon in there. The smoke flavored salmon is gonna be really minuscule because to use that word flavored, it means that it's just like a wisp of smoked salmon in there. And so they can put that legally on the package, but it's a little bit deceptive because they know that you guys don't know that the word flavored means it's just like a little wisp of the smoked salmon in there. So note, you know, please note that when you're looking into this food. Um, another thing that they put on the package is, um, says the facility in which the food is made also makes food that may contain other ingredients such as grains. The amounts of these other ingredients may be present. And the reason why I think they have to put that on there is um, to not be deceptive to people because A, they are saying that this is a grain-free recipe, but they're also saying they can't guarantee that there aren't grains in there. And that has to do with the way the food is manufactured. This is telling me that the food is not manufactured in a very strong strict or stringent way. They can't say that some food from this line doesn't get um, intermingled with this food. And um, on the front, it said it's a venison and salmon food, right? And so in your mind, marketing wants you to think venison and salmon, that's so great, it's so exotic, my cat's gonna love it. Well, look right here on the ingredient list. First ingredient is chicken meal. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with chicken meal. It's really highly, you know, probably nutrient dense. Meals are very concentrated, but we've got chicken meal, peas, sweet potato, chicken fat, pea protein, potato protein, and then you have the roasted venison, and then you have the smoke flavored salmon. Um, so as you can see here, what the name of the package is isn't necessarily what's in the ingredients, and the ingredients are also manipulated. The way they list these things are also manipulated. And I try to explain that to people all the time in my practice because um, people think maybe their pet has a food allergy to a certain ingredient, so they think they can go and they can buy a food that on the package, for example, says roasted venison and smoked salmon. Um, and they say, well, I think my dog's allergic to fish or my cat's allergic to fish, so I'm gonna feed this food because it doesn't have grains and it only has roasted venison and smoke flavored salmon in it. Well, you know, that's not necessarily the case. They're saying right there, they can't guarantee that some of the other foods from other packages um, don't get in here because they're not playing paying super close attention. So another thing to point out on this package. Now, if your pet does have an actual food allergy, um, what we as veterinarians will do is we'll recommend a food that is an actual prescription hypoallergenic diet. And the reason why we do that is those foods are extremely stringent in their manufacturing process and we know they will not be contaminated by other foods. And so that's why they tend to be a little bit more pricey um, and it has to do with the manufacturing process to actually make it a legit food, um, trial food. So.